Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today it's on the MyWarp plugin. This is a really cool plugin which has loads of cool warping features for your server. It's really easy to use and overall a fantastic plugin. So we're going to go over everything in game and we're going to start with forward slash MyWarp. That is going to show us all of the help commands. You can see them in chat here. And the first command we're going to do is the mywarp import command. This is really useful if you've got loads of warps you want to save from essentials. It will import them in, um, but I don't have any, so it didn't do anything. Um, but that's pretty cool that the developers added that. Then we can do forward slash mywarp list followed by a player, and that will just list all the warps that a certain player has created. As you can see, I've made three. You can also do forward slash mywarp list all, and that's going to list every single warp by every single player. And then if you change anything in the config file, you can do forward slash mywarp reload, and that's going to just reload it. Now let's go ahead and try and set a warp. So if we do forward slash set warp shop, it's not going to let us. Why? It's because it's too close to another warp, and that's one of the cool features of this plugin. It doesn't allow you to set warps if they are too close to another existing warp. You can change the distance in the config. Now if I repeat the command over here, it is going to work as we are far away. And as you can see, it took $1,000 from my vault account. Another thing you can change in the config file is the price to create a new warp. And then if we do forward slash my warp GUI, this is the best bit. You can see there is a very cool GUI and it will give all of the different warps from every single player. It will show the owner, the world, the visits and the XYZ coordinates. At the bottom, you can sort by time created, by name, by player, visitors, so you can just choose whichever one you want. Typically, the player's skin and their heads actually show up. I'm not sure why mine isn't, um, but you can see you can teleport to every single warp. And let's go back to shop, the one we created first of all. Then if we do full slash my warp purge, this is a command you want to be careful with. Uh, that will purge all of the warps that are too close together. You can see, for me, it purged zero because mine is spaced out. Um, but if you had loads close together, it would delete those. Then if we do forward slash my warp info and then a warp, it will just give information about the warp like we saw in the GUI. So that is pretty much everything in-game. You can see how simple but effective it is. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there are three YML files and a warps folder. So let's start with the config.yml. If we have a look in here there's only a few things we can change. Up at the top we've got the language, so it's in English at the moment. Then we've got the warp distance. So this is the minimum limit of how far warps have to be apart. So 40 you can change that if you want. It just stops warps from being really close together. Then how many warps you want per user and then the maximum warp name length of 10. Then how much do you want it to cost? You saw in game it cost me $1,000 to create a warp. And then do you want a teleport delay? This is three seconds, you could change that. And then do you want to enable tab complete where you hit tab and it completes the uh, string in chat? Next, let's have a look at the local English file. And this is simply going to be the language file. So it's got everything that's gonna pop up in chat. So we've got warp help. Warp info, we've got the inventory, and if we scroll down to the bottom, uh, we have some stuff in the GUI as well. So the material, the name, and the law. Um, you could change that if you wanted to, but you don't really need to. Then finally, we've got the warps folder, and what we're gonna see in here is just a list of all the warps, each with its own YML file. And then if we have a look at this one, it's just gonna say the world, the coordinates, the owner, and then all the visitors as well. So that is the plugin, a very simple and lightweight plugin, but it has some really nice features, especially the GUI you can see here. Um, if you had a full server, it would show all the different players' heads uh, and all their warps, which would be pretty awesome. And if you scroll down, there will be some permissions. Here are all the commands, there's the permissions. And overall, a really lightweight plugin, but very fantastic, and I would recommend it. So if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.